An additional component under the mailings and an important component is actually the mail merge. Uh, mail merge basically is to create a form letter which you intend to print uh, or email multiple times, sending each copy to a different recipient. You can use this for even for a mission strip, you can use this uh, for cards or for students, applicants or customers or things of that nature. Basically, you have one sample letter and you want to personalize it uh, by sending it to each individual. Let's say instead of saying, uh, dear supporters, you would say, dear Bob, thank you for your gift of whatever the amount was on such and such a date for the mission strip to a specific place. Uh, and the way it works is that you have to have the form document and then you also have to have the uh, data file. The data file could be an Excel file, it could be nowadays uh, also in Word 2007, it could be a table or it could be an access database. But suppose you have a data file called mission strip donations and uh, very similar to this and you have recorded the first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, and the amount that uh, was donated. And then you have also the date and comments as to what you were able to do with that donation. You save all of this information in a spreadsheet and then close it. Once the document has been saved, now at this point you can go and create a new mail merge. To do that, you click on uh, Mailings tab, and then you go to Start Mail Merge. And you can do different ways, however, I do recommend that you choose the step-by-step -step Mail Merge wizard. Once you choose a Mail Merge, you can choose whether you're going to send letters, email messages, envelopes, or you're going to prepare labels or a specific directory. Let's say we want to do letters in this case, you click on Start Document and then you can choose either the existing document here or you can choose um, the one from a template or an existing document. So let's say I'll choose one from a template and then the next thing is to pick a template. At this point I'll choose a blank document and the next step is to select the recipients. So first we chose what document we are going to use. I could have used also the existing document that I had from before. Now we are going to choose the recipients. You can pick them either from Outlook or you can have an existing list, which in our case it will be that Excel file. So I click on Browse, then I go under My Documents, and then one of the files here is, is a Mission Strip Donations. Now it asks which sheet it is in that spreadsheet. In our case it is actually Sheet 1. Click OK and uh, now it's displaying all the different uh, records in that spreadsheet. You can sort them, you can filter them, you can find duplicates and uh, you can manipulate this file additionally. Click OK for now and then the next step is to write the letter. At this point you could say dear and then you click on insert merge field. For example first name, space, insert merge field again, last name, comma, thank you for your donation on and then you can put the date have the computer put in the date and the amount of put a dollar sign and choose the amount and then for our missions trip to Mexico and you could say additional text here and notice how you can do the spelling as well and then in another line here you could put another field called comments and you could say th sincerely at this point this is your form you can format this additionally for example the amount here we can make this bold so it stands out and now we go to home here and then we can make the comments as well and now we go back to mailings. You can uh, insert additional uh, fields and so on. At this point, technically, you can actually save this file as a form, and then any time in the future you want to run this mail merge again, you'll actually be able to just run it without having to go through all of these steps again. So I choose File, Save. Okay, next one is to preview our letters. Notice it says now the first name there. Thank you for your donation, 925 2008 in the amount of $25 for our mission trip to Mexico. Thank you for your generosity. 
that was one of my comments and you can go and preview the letters for each specific user you could have a thousand letters generated this way next one is uh, you can click on complete merge and then you can either print them out directly to the printer or you can preview them and see what they are going to look like and notice at this point I have a letter for each specific user so basically this is how the mail merge uh, functionality works and at this point we actually do not need to keep that merged results form you can just utilize and go and modify the form if you have to recreate this for the future by the way if you want to insert also let's say clip art you click on insert then clip art and then you choose strip or mission strip or whatever it may need uh, you may need and as, I, as soon as I click on uh, preview your letters then complete the merge and then the each individual letter now each letter will have a clip art in it so the key is to go and modify that form and then merge the document and then complete the merge again